Rush hour on the bridges to join Ottawa and Gatineau. Extremely backlog and again, productive time wasted. We found that only a few hundred feet from the end of the present Bayview light rail station is a complete and unused rail bridge across the Ottawa River. With the exception of a freight train turning around for approximately 10 minutes each day, the bridge is unused. Wouldn't it be logical to relieve waiting times on the automobile bridges and use light rail to shuttle government and other workers to their jobs in the two cities? The Prince of Wales Railway Bridge is only a few hundred meters north of the current north end of the system, the Bayview Station. The city's own engineering study of the bridge showed that it would cost only about $5 million to rehabilitate that bridge. Using the Prince of Wales Bridge for diesel light rail system to connect in to all the buses in Gatineau and the employment areas in Gatineau would be the fastest and simplest thing that we could do in order to reduce traffic congestion in downtown Ottawa. Well, we have an active railway line that runs from the Prince of Wales Railway Bridge, which crosses the Ottawa River 250 meters north of the uh, Bayview O train station. The line continues due north with a grand total of, I believe, three level crossings, all of them signaled. It's turning back to the Prince of Wales Railway Bridge, this is a legacy from the past, built in 1878, named in honor of the Prince of Wales. Served for over a hundred years to carry uh, national trains from one end of Canada to the other. And now it sits entirely unused, but entirely sound and ready for carrying O trains. The line continues due north with a grand total of, I believe, three level crossings, all of them signaled. Runs by, right by DND's Louis Saint Laurent building with 2,500. Uh, plus employees, right by the Casino du Lac Limi, the Hilton Hotel, a huge parking garage. Uh, and near the Ottawa River, runs very near the Lake Terrasse de la Chaudière, runs a block uh, east of Boulevard Saint Joseph, and yet it is not used at all for um, passenger rail. It used to be used for passenger rail traffic. It is ideally suited to uh, carry a light rail service. It could easily handle the O train going north from its existing line and yet various levels of government have, are very stubbornly opposed, actively opposed, to even considering light rail service on the railway line that's behind me. In about an hour I'll be leaving my office and I go to wait for a bus which will take an awkward, an indirect route to take me to Ottawa, forces me to go to downtown Ottawa and instead of being able to get on a convenient, pleasant light rail car which within 10 minutes would take me directly to the Bayview Old Trade Station in Ottawa where I can connect to any number of places in Ottawa. We are within three miles of the Peace Tower. We see the entire skyline of downtown Ottawa from here. Uh, we are within at the heart of the National Capital Region of a country that's proudly devoted to reducing greenhouse gases, proudly devoted to principles of sustainability, uh, renewable energy, uh, all the good stuff, and yet that rail line stays unused.